Good morning, this is your boy DJ Tan right here on Tanitudes. You know, I'm going to give you some cardinal rules to live by just a quick moment here. You know, I want you to learn how to make peace with your past so that it won't disturb your present. You have to learn to make peace with who you are. Forget about what happened back then. Forget about what you did. Forget about what somebody did to you. Forget about what he said, she said, they said, we said, what happened. Forget about it. It's not coming back. You can't change it. Forget about it. Because as long as you keep harboring over the past, it's going to disturb what you are doing today. You ever think about why so many of you can't get past what's going on in your life? Why you are stuck in the situation that you're stuck in. You're stuck for a reason. You're stuck because you can't get over your past. Let it go. Keep it moving. Another thing is what other people think about you is none of your business. It don't matter what Sally, Ann, Dick, Jane, Harry. It don't matter what they have to say about you. People are full of bullshit. It don't matter what they say. It's not your business. It's not your business to wake up in the morning and think about what Sally said about you last night. That's their business. Because let me tell you something. As long as somebody is talking about you, that means that you are doing the job that you're supposed to do. Do you think I wake up in the morning and wonder who, well, who worried about Tanner Twos? Y'all worried about Tanner Twos because y'all are talking about it. So guess what? Stop worrying about what people think about you. That's not your business. What your business is to stay in the business of doing you. Successful people don't give a damn about what other people think about them. Next thing I want you to do, time heals almost everything. So anything that you're going through right now, just give it some time. Stop thinking about it. Give it time to heal. Time really does heal almost everything. No one is in charge of your happiness except for you. Stop looking for uh, James, Joe, Barbara, Shamika, Laquita. Stop looking for them to make you happy because nobody's in charge of your happiness but you. Until you wake up one morning and realize, damn, I've wasted 10, 20 years of my life waiting for somebody else to make me happy and realizing all the while I'm supposed to make me happy. That's when you're going to realize that you've wasted all that time not realizing that you are the one that's supposed to make yourself happy. Don't compare your life to others. Now, I see this every day, every single solitary day, and I wanted to touch on this subject for a little minute. You cannot, and I mean, you cannot compare your life to other people. Don't judge them. You have no idea what their journey is all about. You cannot compare your life to, to, to these people that you're following on Instagram, to the people that you're following on Facebook, to the pictures that you're watching on, 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 on uh, these other websites and all this social media. Because let me tell you something. People on social media have an uncanny happenstance of making their life seem 20 times bigger than what it actually is. Anybody can post a picture and pretend like they're the happiest people in the world. But you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know their journey. So stop comparing your life because your life may be a million times better than theirs. Because one thing that I've learned is that people that continually boast about their life. And I find this often with people who are. I call them name brand people because name brand people seem to have a purpose. Their purpose is to pretend like they're happy and they spend a great deal of time and money in pretending like they're happy when they really are just actual normal people and they just do normal shit and they act like they just beyond normal but really they got a normal life and deal with normal bullshit like we all do. But they have to spend a lot of money on pretending like their life is just so glitzy and glamorous and really is not. So don't compare your life to others. Just do you. Another thing I want you to do, people. Stop thinking too fucking much. 
it's okay not to know the answers. You don't have to know the answer to everything. Have you ever met somebody that know every damn thing? They get on my nerves. Everybody don't know everything. The answer is going to come to you when you least expect it. So if you are know-it-all, you don't know it all. You just think you know it all. Don't come at me correcting my shit. Don't come at me telling me it should have been it and, and, and at. It should have been thus and thou. It should have been what and war. It should have been it and ack. It should have been mick and mack. I don't give a damn how it come out of my mouth and how I write it down is how I write it down. Because I still got three degrees. So don't even try it. People who think too much and think too much into other people's lives are the most disgusting individuals that I have ever ran across in my life. People who think too much and they they spend too much time on other people's shit. Spend some time on your shit. Clean your house out. Clean your garage out. Clean your closet out. Clean your head out. Clean your hair out. Clean your clothes out. Take some uh, do cleanse your colon. Shit. Stop worrying about everybody else's problem. And the last thing I want y'all to do today, my friends and family and others and constituents. (laughs) Just smile. You don't own all the problems in the world, my friends. And you can't fix the world. You just live in it. You just a tiny little morsel in a corner and just like that little ant outside. You just a little tiny little morsel of this world. You can't fix it. You can't fucking fix Trump. You can't fix the 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 the, the, the shit that's going on in this world. You can't fix it alone. You can't fix bigotry. You can't fix racism. You can't fix teen violence. You can't fix teen pregnancy. You can't fix any of it by yourself so when you wake up in the morning fix you stop worrying about everybody else when you got shit going on in your own life see the one thing you have to realize is this as long as you're not fixing you your life is still going to be fucked up think about that so when you wake up in the morning you make a checklist for yourself And if your checklist, don't put everybody else's problems on your checklist. The first thing you put on your checklist is fix me. And if it don't have nothing to do with you, scratch that shit off. Don't try to fix your grown ass children. Don't try to fix your grown ass cousins. Don't try to fix your grown ass mama and your grown ass daddy. Don't try to fix your grown ass brothers and sisters. Fix you. Get up and fix yourself a cup of coffee. And if your grown ass friends and family is still tripping, that's on them. Because guess what? Life is short. And no matter what you do, (laughs) you're still going to die. You tell me one person that you know that has lived forever. No matter what you do, no matter what you eat, no matter what you don't eat. No matter what you drink, no matter what you don't drink, we all ultimately are going to leave here one day. So just wake up and smile and don't own all the problems of this world. All right. Just that simple. (laughs) This is your boy DJ Tan. I will see you when I see you. Peace.